See, the last time I was raided was about a year ago. Before that, I was raided maybe about two and a half, three years ago. And when I got raided, they came in, they gave me all this rubbish. Uh, I was interfering with the airport and that, which was a lot of rubbish. I uh, tried to say that I had, had proof of my own tape that I was interfering. Uh, but we went to court, they were flung out because they couldn't prove it. Why am I doing it? Because it's the only time I get to spend time with him. <laughs> PT illusion. I wasn't getting any time with him really because he's radio rental and he's just constantly on the airwaves. Not me, answer. Oh, aye. Came with Ty Fi. Right. Right. Aye. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say it over the radio when I'm Andrew. Right. Right, okay. Right, to it. I'll do that now. Right, bye. Aye, there's a mic. Aye, I'm going Right, folks, just to mention, in the down Fairsley Park, the hearing of a Kenwood Hi-Fi going for sale, could you phone us at the Illusion FM studio as it's been stolen out of somebody's house? So, that's for a dear friend of mine, it's been stolen out of. So, if you hear anybody selling a Kenwood Hi-Fi down there in fact, The last time I got caught, I got a £400 fine. I got roughly around nearly £3,000 worth of equipment taken off me, as of my decks, my mixers, my mobile phone. I didn't get that back. That's why I got a four hundred pound fine. The, the judge was like, when I went to court, says it's a pit. The minimum penalty that he could give me was a thousand pound fine. He was might give me a custodial sentence. I'm not going to stop it. Not until I get caught. I promise the missus the next time I get caught, I'll stop. I'm just seeing this I go busted there neither. Yep, I've got a new transmitter on the paper. I had to quote me on. They quote me live on there. I never ever expected I would get caught because I was only on now and again. Mm -hmm. You know, and as Gary will tell you, it, it always happens when you don't expect it. Always, all the time. When you do a pirate radio station, you're not messing with the law, you're messing with the government. And inevitably, you're going to get caught. We'd agreed that he was going to go back on the air if um, he got busted this time, and that was our agreement, and we'd promised and all the rest of it. And then I just couldn't ask. It's a shame. I was like, oh, how are you going to order it then? Because I felt feel sorry for him. Because that's all he does. He doesn't do anything else. He doesn't drink. He doesn't take drugs. He doesn't go out. So I thought, well, what else is he go, really? So I was like, right, OK, then go and get it. So that was him. I was all chuffed. <laughs> that's what you were like, weren't you? <laughs> The first time I was feared because I didn't know what was going to happen, I didn't know what maximum penalty was. And I thought, he's got a good time for this. And I, that, that was the last thing Ennis needed. He's taking it too lightly. I've told him, go in expecting the worst because if it happens, you're prepared for it. And if it doesn't, it's a bonus. And I've told him that and he's like, aye, aye. But I don't know if he's listening to me or not. A new family member, yeah? Oh, aye. I just, just go for Temporary. You know what I mean? Uh, it's only a three legged dog. We'll be running about for a while. Right, sit. So, what's it been like to live with? Nightmare. First word that pops into my head nightmare. <laughs> You're driving me to drink. Did <laughs> <laughs> you? You're driving me to drink? <laughs> no, I have, I have been, I've been a nightmare to live with. And I've been cracking up them. I've been like, oh, I wish that transmitter would come. I never thought I'd say that. But a day, I wish it would just hurry up and get here. Eat, sleep and dream transmitters. Oh, that's a bad move. You can't touch her here, she will go men. So do you get them every, every weekend, yeah? You Aye, every them? Saturday. Yeah? You see them during the week as well? Aye, I see them whenever I want to come here or whatever. And there's no restrictions on it or nothing when I get to see them, just whenever they want and whenever I want. Aye. At the mall when I was too young, that was the, the main problem. It's definitely I had when I was 15. I fell at 14 and I had her when I was 15. James, I was 
17. And Costana was 19. I've lost one, I've lost one. I don't know if he's breaking when I was 19, just no long after I'd cursed the arm. I kind of went a bit, I don't know. It was like postnatal depression and everything, all oh, really got on top of me. After that, the Wayne's went to foster care. They were there for about a year. I moved away, I went to London and lived with my auntie for a while. And then I came back because it was, it was heartbreaking, I couldn't leave. I, I couldn't no be a part of their life, but I thought it would either have to be all or nothing. It's not about just me or just Gary. It's about um, what's, what's the best for everybody concerned. For too long now they've been settled and us unsettling them wouldn't be fair. And then it's, it's, it's always going to be me, Gary, and the Wayne's and my mum and my dad. Fair enough, Gary's doing something illegal but it's not as, not even a fraction compared to what, if their aim failure was in my life. Ah, stop mooching! I know, I've learnt from my mistakes now. I know why I didn't make them again. Didn't it, Gary? Hello, Matt House. Eh? Hi. For you? My brain is going out, isn't it? Hi, hello. I'll do it. I'll catch you. Hello, Matt House. You got a 15 year old lassie out the door. Well, I mean, get a minor out of there. What is she? Oh, Fifteen year old lassie's getting pregnant. Oh, that's fucking different, I want. How's it different? Because I want. Mm. The difference is, right? What? I. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference. How? Because there is. We've already been through this before, everyone. You know what I mean? The fact that you're 15 years There's a big difference between you, 15 year old, and that lassie, 15 year old. The fact you, a 15 year old, had a big set of fucking daddies. You know what I mean? You were fully developed at 15 year old. Fucking do that! But you can <laughs> Me and my friend used to go to the clubs every weekend. And uh, what happened was when we went to see another friend who stayed in a homeless unit at the point, and that's where I met one. She was in a homeless unit at the time, and then we just started from there. We went out one weekend, and then we went out every single weekend for nearly a year and a half. And then moved in there. Moved out my mum's, and then we moved in there, in there, Vaughan. You normally take them out before you come up the stairs, you know? Well, if I'm in the room mixing up when everyone comes in, it can be quite annoying. You know, it's, can I get frustrating sometimes when you're, you're trying to do a mix and there's somebody running about you, you go on, bickering and you're, you're all telling you to go and tidy the house or make a cup of coffee.
podcast that you can really teach it as yourself. It's all done to practice. There's not a book out that can tell you how to be a DJ. <laughs> What are you up to? Nothing. Why you got me on my speaker? Because <coughs> I was just talking about you. What? I was just talking about you. I'm bored. I miss you. Oh. Need you to come and see me. <laughs> Please. Right, I mean, who, who's the boss now? <laughs> Why you come down and see me? I'm not coming down, Yvonne. Right, fuck you then. Yvonne. Hmm. Bye. Yvonne. Bye. Yvonne. I'm going to bust you for annoying the dog. This is the second Monday and I all know that they're saying it's coming. And see if it's not here on Monday, he will lose it. He'll go srag altogether. I'm even hoping and praying it comes on Monday now because he is getting unbelievable. I seen him last Monday, come down and it wasn't here. And his face was like this all day. Last Saturday he was on a guy from our station phoned him up and uh, he says to him, do you want to go near the night? So we went over and picked him up and brought him out here and the two went on the radio for a while. He goes away, firing the way up the roof, putting aerials up and all that. After I'm taking them down, he put them all back up again. 12 o'clock at night. Hello, Safiti. Radio Junkie's got his fix, yeah? yeah ah. That's the one, that's exactly the words I was looking for. Radio Junkie's got his fix. <laughs> It's rather heavy. <laughs> so that's what I got. Just went out and bought a hundred watt PLL Pro 3 transmitter. He's got to open everything and have a wee look. That's his baby. <laughs> Big massive cooling fans at the back. And that. Rather snazzy, and that's what it looks like there. Go and watch him making coffee because he doesn't stir it right. Why make sure he stirs it right? Because he doesn't date that often. You've been giving this bone a bit of a hard time over the last few weeks, are you? That's just the sales, eh? Someone who feels sad. Do you know what I mean? But... Aye. Eh? Nothing, dear. Right. This time, when you get caught, that's it. It's finished. Name air. Isn't it? Deal? Aye, deal, OK. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Poor soul. The rules are set this time is nay 24 hour stunts like he's been, like he has done. Uh, nay seven days a week. Just like fair enough at the weekends or the new when they went on holiday. Because most of his audience has school age. So they're on holiday the new. So he'll be wanting to go on every night. But it will only be every night because he, he's got to remember, I've got to get up for my work in the morning, he's got to get up for his, and he'll not do that if he's on the radio at 4 o'clock in the morning. Can I have coffee? Uh, uh-huh. Fucking worth a shite. <laughs> what is that? Buffered. It's not stuff, that's not the same. This is chicken and white rice and veg. Oh, okay. Come here. Oh, no, no, no. Gary, what are you doing? Seriously.
you whatever. Locations fell through, so you can just broadcast the year just, just tonight. I'm saying that anyway, but I'm not getting on him again. In fact, no way. Just this once. I've had a cup of coffee and that. My nerves are a wee bit settled. I'll turn and try to make my own go in there. I am just making sure. I'm just watching. In case the DTI up here. So I wouldn't like to see him getting busted after waiting all that time to get the thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm just watching for them. To brainwash the comprehend. This frequency is and has become a threat to our society as we know it. Finest has returned. Allegion FM on 100.8. What double seven? 62 70 1998. Allusion FM is back. He's obviously got to be a bit paranoid if he is, isn't he? It's only natural because the way they went about it last time, they jumped the back fence. <laughs> Do you mate? So I'm about bad. Yay! 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 Slash home dot h t m l. I don't know what that is. 
that more, they'd go up the other way. <laughs> Mine's me and the tail and the gun up. <laughs> It's going to be either me and him or it's going to be him and his radio because it's no fear. He, he can't keep coming back on and coming back on. He's got to okay, say no, that call, enough's yeah. enough at some point, you know? Otherwise, he would just keep going and going and going, and something's got to need to give away, do you know what I mean? But at the same time, he is only ever happy when he's on the radio, so... You're definitely written off before you start, because it's a case of where you fear and you tell them. And they go, and that's you, you're, you're, a, you're a hooligan or you're a, a junkie or you're a something. They've already made up their minds what you are because of the area of your face. Well, I can assure you one thing. I'm, I'm on the radio, and everybody can actually see me. So if I go in here, like I'm doing this, and I am, I'm the warm up. As far as I'm led, can I believe it? There's a person that goes in and does all the warm up. No, that's, they're there to get people ready to listen to some good music and things like that. No, you're there to keep them in there, get them ready for a night that hopefully they enjoy. The worst thing that could happen is that he does something wrong and cracks up and just walks out. I don't think he would do that. I think if he got a wee bit wrong, then he would continue to and he would fix it because I've seen him do that before but at the same time I really don't know because I don't know what he expect. The best thing that could happen, he goes down really well, he, he bounces the place. I'm a proposer by you, I swear to God I love myself. If you know what I love yourself, you need to <laughs> I'm hoping at this point next year I'm no working for the company I'm working with. I'm hoping I'm leading to better things, going on to a radio station, maybe RSL stations, whatever. As long as it's something to do with radio, that's what I want to do. What well, I do want is to see him happy and maybe I'll have to put that positive energy towards him. 
people are believing all that kind of stuff. So if there's positive energy running about you, then you'll, you'll feel it. I suppose that's what everybody wants really, ain't it? A house, a motor and a family. And not having to worry about money or where your next meal's coming from. That's really, that's my main concerns. Some people think your life's planned for you. Other people think that you should just take it a step by step. I don't know, I think there's fate there somewhere. <laughs> Right, folks, got to play one more track. I've just been told to get off. So what are you doing? Yeah, I'm put, um, trying to put in for a job and that's just not going to look good. Where's the job? <laughs> in the court. <laughs> I'd like to work with teenagers, even though some of them are good kicking the bum, but that's beside the point. But that's not what they need. Do you know, do you know what I mean? They need somebody that they can talk to. I know all this from when I was younger, so I know what they want to hear and what they don't want to hear. So I would, that would be my ideal job, is to maybe work with teenagers and care or something. But I couldn't do that the new, you know. I've not got any experience or anything like that, so... Um, but you can't get experience without a job, and you can't get a job without experience, so it's, it's a catch-22. You can't win. Business. Here's my baby. Hi, Mum. Here's my baby. Hi, You've been drinking. <laughs> You've been your feather. Right. Did you take your letter with you? Uh -huh. I was looking for Mother, I hope he doesn't get a thousand pound fine, because that is just... Uh, he's got the money there to cover it, but that's not the point. <laughs> he's worked his ass off to get that money, and now he's just got to go and haunt it out to a judge. No. <laughs> this is the I know he's done wrong and all the rest of it, and he's been charged for it, and... Blah, 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 but I feel able to work as part of this as a team, a minimum supervision. We'll be responsible for escorting sheriffs to and from court. Oh, it's just going to be like, the judge is going to be sitting there going, you're just giving it that to us, son, you know what I mean? And he's going to just make an example of him. And that's, that's the thing that scares me the most. Because Gary thinks, no, we have a reason to just walk in and say, right, that'll be it. And I'm like, uh, uh, it's not going to work like really, that. No. Every time you think that something's going to go one way, it always goes the opposite. Always. I don't even, I don't even want to go. <laughs> I really don't want to go. But I'll need to go and support them. I have to get up early and make sure he's got his wee clothes ironed. Because I don't want him going there looking like a tramp or nothing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you ready for tomorrow? Roll it on. Roll on. Tomorrow. <laughs> Judge, goes, the basin, Judge goes, right, four hundred pounds fine. How do you want it? You're on a tens, twenties checks or that. <laughs> Got to go to court. Got to plead guilty. No way to go to jail. Just go. I mean, like, they could either make an example of me due to the fact being on telly and everything else, you know what I mean? So, I could go one way or another, or I could just get in there slamming the horn and a £400 fine or something, so. Just not bother. But. That's insane with me. Alright, fucking nippy! Oh, why are you? Oh, why are you? Aye. 
fucking news to me. Remember the last time? Oh, Yvonne's getting all the say, and Yvonne get, I have to ask Yvonne's permission and all that. Bollocks to it all. When was the last time you asked my permission to go on before you went on? Have you ever? Aye. When? I don't remember you asking. <coughs> You've already had it on tinkered about wait and says, Oh, can I go on the radio? And you? I was out every weekend and there wouldn't be a Friday night that I would be in the house and I'd be out partying and getting steaming and stuff right. Right up until the night of my birthday, we were out, we enjoyed ourselves and everything else. But see, after then, I've not been out. I've not been out in a night out. I've not went to a pub and get steaming, I've not went to a shop and bought a big care out and get wrecked. Right. It's just, I just can't be bothered. I never thought I would um, stop being the party animal and all this, you know, and stop being the life and soul of the party. But I've just totally mellowed out, felt hot to wait if I just. Oh, Bob's your uncle's finished. What are you doing out here? 20 past nine in the morning. I've got myself here on 1036. How's it all doing? Prime Minister Dedications or Request? That's an about call. Check out the website www.allusionfm.tk. Glasgow's finest here. Basil's finest. Strathclyde's number one. You're on 1036. I want to quote for it today and he's got a cheek to put it on. So I want to do it, I'm going to be back on 100.8. But at the moment, I'm off ski because that's nearly half nine. And I might be at quarter at ten o'clock. So for now, catch you all later. Bye, Bongo. Gary looked like he didn't care about the court case as if it was nothing, as if it was just, ah, I'm going to just go in here and take my thousand pound fine and how do you want that, your honour, cash or cheque? <laughs> but that isn't the way he was feeling really. That was just the, the big brave face that he showed everybody else. The only thing that could go wrong for me in here is uh, get referred to the fucking High Court. 
And if I get it's referred to the High Court, well, I'm fucked. Basically. Uh, it's French, but if I go there, that's me knackered. What so, I'm nervous about it, you were yesterday, yeah? No, I'm not really bothering about it at all. I not really worry about it, really. No, I know the, the maximum I can get in here is a thousand pound fine, so... If I get a thousand pound fine, well, I'm happy enough. If I get less, so I'll be over the moon. And I can get my, my bathroom finished. <laughs> We'll see what happens. I'm just going to go in. Take your fucking punishment. Take the punishment and, and, and that's it. So, see what happens. Come on. Thousand pound fine isn't oh that's nothing. Don't see any cunt else getting a thousand pound fine, they know I'll be saying you're a fucking grass new building. Nope. Nope, what can I say? Fuck it. Don't see any of the rest of them getting a thousand pound fine. Bollocks. Bullshit. Fucking crap. Fucking raging. This fish. And, and do you think I'm coming back to this fucking court again you get hard? No. Don't get a fucking buy. Right, drop it. Please, you spin it. No. This is another six months. The court case, I think, scared them. Um, because it was after the court case that me and him, we sat down, we had a talk, and he decided, right, I'm going to stay after he do for a year. So he went up the roof, took the radios down or his transmitter, put it away and decided that he was staying off for a year. He was so sincere, like he was like, I swear it, I'm staying off for a I don't, I don't need all this extra pressure, worrying whether I'm going to get caught again and he's like, because that's the last thing I need is uh, getting six months in, in the jail. Because that's what the judge had said to him in the court, he says, um, you could actually get a custodial sentence for this. And his face kind of just went white because that's the last place he wanted to go. This is Real Radio. It's seven o'clock. This is Colin Kelly. A pirate radio DJ has been killed in a horrific accident in Renfrewshire. 22 year old Gary Moncrief was working for council contractors Lightways when he was electrocuted this afternoon in Kilmacomb. A normal morning, like every other one gets up at his bed, here's the alarm going off. I'm going, You get it. He's going, No, you get it. And I'm going, Right, okay. I reached out, I'll turn the alarm off, and he gets out of bed. And he's running about the room, flinging his clothes on. And he comes down, he gives me a kiss, and he says, I love you, I'll see you later. Some days, maybe for about a month, I'm fine, I'm all right. And then it could be like three days and poof, I'm a mess. It depends on how occupied I keep myself. I've had a couple of jobs in that sense and none of them have really lasted. I went back to the homeless. Um, thinking it would be an easier way to get in the house, but it was just going to be an easier way of me joining Gary. That's what that was totally leading to. Know that I was going to take my own life around, but that I wasn't having a life, you know. I was, I was just getting drunk all the time and something I know that he wouldn't have wanted me then. I've still got his transmitter and I'm keeping it. <laughs> I wanted it in beside him. I really did because. That's good, isn't it? 
Davide, prego un gioio. Mi dà se vi sgna fra io so. La chance mi arrivo noi che io sto, non so dai io so. Non è non, a me io so. I know he would not be one lying in a box somewhere, not getting used. After paying all that money for it, he'd hate that. So, I'll let you know if will be back. <laughs> Definitely.